we're oblivious in this bitch. I, today we're doing a motion tracking or manual tracking tutorial. So basically, I'm gonna teach you how to follow certain items, how to zoom in, how to zoom out, so like that. How to make a smooth. You feel me? So here I already got a clip right here. See, like a, it's a quick 2K intro. And I'm gonna show you how some editors be doing it and how like some actual content creators they be zooming in into like the records and to the face and shit. And then how you zoom out, and how you like I'm also gonna show you how to follow a whole play by play type shit. If you know what I'm saying. Alright, so let's start with the intro itself. Um, there's two ways you could do this shit. You could do independent crop, which is this this shit right here. Do with the pen and crop, but with the pen and crop, you do like one clip individually at a time. But I recommend you do it with using this item right here. with it at? I think it's this right here, track motion right here. Boom, you press that, make it smaller because you know you got to see the actual screen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, so, here you could start with this shit. Um, you could start it something all the way right away, like you could start something. And then you could move it, see how you see what I'm doing. You can move it easily. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you have this this shit right here same cursor around. Because you could you gotta move frames and shit. You can move frames using the arrow keys. See how many frames I'm moving, move two frames at a time because my shit is zoomed out. So if you zoom in, it's so simple. So if I start zooming in on this one, or you could just restore it. Just restore box, restore view. So you could actually start like this. So like you just say 10 frames in. 10 frames in, you could drag this box from the corner. You could zoom it in. You could zoom in. And then through here, you could just zoom in and move it up and down. Also, like when you're doing this, make sure you don't you don't go over the black. Don't you don't go over the whole video because this is gonna show this black parts in the bottom. Which doesn't look too good. So you the easiest way to do this, like you could just click on it and use the arrow keys to move it up and down. That's the that's the best way in my opinion to do it. So I'm gonna just like zoom in into his record. So so far we got this, boom. And let's say we did a 10 frames, right? 10 frames, so 10 frames now we're doing the next one at 40. I added it on 30 frames per second. As you can see right here, 29.97. So 10 frames later, I'm gonna show the next one, right? But you don't want to show the next one right away, because if I do that, see, I click on it, move it to the left, show the next record, it's gonna move right away. You could do that if you want that type of effect. If you want that type of movement, you see how it does? It just moves across. <laughs> but what I'm trying to go with, like, I'm trying to do a quick one. So I'm gonna go back to this one. Go like 10 frames back or 5, I don't know, let's go 10, let's go 10, fuck it, 30, and let's go move back a little bit to the left again, so it's like slowly moving, dang, I don't know, it's moving mad quick, see like moves quick, so on this one, let's see if we go back to this one real quick, let's do like 30 more frames if it has enough space, so 70, so 70 is gonna zoom out. So we'll do this with the keyframe. So this is how you add keyframes that button right there, create a keyframe. Press this on there again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And if you want to zoom out, or you could just do this, oh you could just do that, but it's not gonna restore it to not to the normal shit. You right click it, press restore box, it goes back to normal. So far it looks like this. Boom. Boom. Simple, right? And you can make this shit look way smoother if you want to. Like, for example, if, if I could just like out of your track real quick, right? Then we just keyframe, or you could just set a marker. Set the marker, like you said, so set a marker, you press M. So basically, you just enter, that's already a marker. So I'm gonna put a marker just to out of see on audio, so like those swooshes and shit. So the next one's right here, boom. That you see it's moving to the left, boom. And now let's add another marker on the zoom out. Boom, that's another right there. So we got three markers where we could add like certain audios and shit. So we add a swoosh on this marker. I 
you could do any any shit you want to do with this shit basically you just experiment with shit you just experiment with it that's all that's all editing is about like you gotta experiment be creative and shit but the swoosh is not even that good i'm just using that one as a sample because uh, I, don't, I don't i don't got time to be looking for good swooshes Add another one right there. Are you feel me? It's like it's simple shit, but a lot of people like they don't do it. And it overall, it overall makes your makes it makes your videos better overall, in my opinion. But boom, boom, like oh shit, try hard. And now I'm gonna show you how to like swim in and follow a certain player. For example, if we wouldn't want to follow the guy with the ball right here, like let's say we're gonna start following before the pass happens. But from here, we go back into the track motion thing, you open it, and now here you just keyframe it real quick. So he stays in, in the full view for the zoom in. So let's do like 10 frames in. Yeah, 10 frames. We zoom in. We zoom in on that shit, click. You can use the arrow, arrow keys real quick. So if you feel like it's too zoomed, then just drag it back out a little bit. Know what I'm saying? Something I recommend doing: always try to like keep the thing, the object you're following centered on the, on the screen. So for example, I'm following the the, the player, so I'm gonna keep it centered on the screen, or at least try to keep it centered as much as you can for the overall continuity and shit. So let's do like. I would I would do it like eight, every ten frames because you do it every one frame, it's gonna move the screen way too much, which is which it's not gonna make it too smooth. So with the, with the first one we did it at two eighty, so now let's go like two ninety. You see he's not in the middle no, no, anymore, so you click on it, censor that nigga. So if you censor him real quick, boom, censor him real quick, boom, then they, they go back to three hundred. See it's like it's simple shit. It overall makes your videos better. Example, you say, Oh, this oh, zoom in, let's zoom out a little bit a little more. They like, show the overall play developing and shit. Try making put it on the sensor again. But make sure when you see this here at the bottom, always make sure this is not showing. And if it is, make sure to add some black bars, cinematic bars, whatever you want to call it. So let's do 20 frames on that one. Sensor the, per the player again or the object. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know what you're doing, my guy. Just do what you want to do, my guy. Simple. Always try to keep it in center as possible. Say, so let's say I want to zoom in on the jump shot. And then follow the ball, basically. You just zoom in, zoom out. So now this one, I'm going to try and follow the ball. Green day. Let's keep trying to follow the ball. So, for a cool effect, you just look. At, you could zoom in completely on the ball if you wanted to. Like we could just zoom in completely and follow the ball. See the ball's right here. You could zoom, zoom in more, but if your footage is not that good of quality, it's gonna look it's gonna look like blurry or choppy. So don't zoom in too much. Basically, is what I'm saying. If you do that shit, it's gonna look like blurry. You see how he looks pixelated and shit because the the frames are too low. Frames per second, the quality is too low. See, I'm trying to follow the ball now. Or oh, try to keep it keep it centered. But we'll always make sure not to show the black parts. So boom. Just keep trying to keep it centered. Let me just make a super a little more simple. Simple stuff. Just keep just keep using the arrow key, simple. And my computer's about to die. Let me get my charge. Like that shit back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's some simple stuff too, like, it's no no crazy shit. One drops, fool, nigga, I can use that shit. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I 
uh, sense of the, the rim, the backboard. So when he goes in the basket, I always recommend like restoring the view. So restore the box. And now we can check how the whole shit looks. And to preview stuff without having surrender, the best way to do is shift plus B. And see, he pre-renders it inside the, the thing. Hey, but since I'm best full, it's not gonna, it's not gonna preview everything. So let's just try the preview one. Let's like do it like up to here, if it's possible. Let's see how how much does he do. It's gonna do the full thing. Yeah, did the full thing. So we just click on it. It's blurry because I'm on PB version. Like it zooms in, follows the player, zooms out, green, boom. I could have done a better job on the green animation, but it don't fucking matter. It's just for the sake of the tutorial, right, Lou? Right, OB? Just trying to, yo, the best version is ass, dude. <laughs> Can we do like good at least? Good auto? Like, my guy. And now we out here getting updates. Can you stop Apple? Goddamn. Close that shit. Thank you. Quit. Thank you. This shit out here fucking on my shit. Uh, Chef plus B. Yeah, the good one doesn't even look good. Yo, why did these clips? 720? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I'm only using client clips. So it zooms in. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Green. Buckets. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do, but I'm gonna try to fix the, the green real quick. Or oh, the green, let's, let's keep it more on the green a little bit for more like a little while, right? <laughs> nah, man. Let's show the green look for a little bit. For a little bit, only for a little bit. I need to sneeze, my fault. So I'm trying to hold the urge, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hold the urge to sneeze, but I don't want to sneeze right now. <laughs> nah, I'm saying. Trying to hold the urges, but yeah, this is basically how you motion track in Sony Vegas. It's not, it's not the best, but you know, it's decent. It's decent. You can, you can also sound effects. You could like, I like a dramatic boom that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You could do whatever you want with this shit. You could go crazy. See, I'm a, I already showed you how to follow a player. Let me unmute the audio real quick. I saw socials, follow their records, zoom out, show the players, and then I also showed you how to follow a player play by play, like dribble, 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 shot, green, of the ball, splash. Like you could, you could do whatever you want with it. That's basically how you do motion tracking or in other words like manual tracking because um after effects you can actually track the the software could actually track shit for you and here you could do it too but you need sony vega 16 and i don't want to download that shit or buy that shit in general <laughs> well you could crack it but you know on the low low nah i saying for education the purposes only <laughs> well yeah i did pay for my sony vegas head ass well, yeah, just basically it. If you want any different tutorials in 2K or anything in general, mixing videos, Sony Vegas, After Effects, let me know. I see a lot of people asking me for shake tutorials. So, but the thing is, for shake tutorials, you gotta know you, you, you need plugins. You need plugins. You need plugins. You can legit just get Sony Vegas and not expect to get plugins. So for the shakes, you need um the Sapphire Shake. Yo, why am I sick? What month is this? June? You the f why am I sick right now? Ah, uh, but simple. <laughs> simple as shit, me. I see it's a fire shake. See, I got some shakes right here. I got some face on shakes. I got camera movements. That's basically how you do motion track. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'm, try I'm trying to hit 5K soon at least because I'm right now, like, how much? 4.4k right yeah we're not even that deep make sure to subscribe hit the like button hope you enjoyed the tutorial suggestions down below 
Just suggest some shit, wanna learn. Anything masking, I go through it all. Head ass. Alright, peace out. We'll be out simple.